give me give me permission on your end oh yeah absolutely all right well hi everybody let's see how do i do this uh -oh. oh one moment there we go make co-host there that should have done it okay done. hey everybody welcome what's up glad you're here welcome to conjure community i'm here with uh alexander slimmer and steve barcelona world's best magic club <laughs> And today we're going to look at Don Allen's biggest hits. He was one heck of a magician, in case you don't know who he is. Uh, today we're going to look at his absolute, some of his biggest hits. Do us a favor, uh, hit follow or subscribe right now. You'll be notified anytime we go live with a new show. So what do you guys think? Uh, Don Allen, favorite magician ever or what? Definitely in the top 10, if not top three, top five, top three. You know, he's yeah. really... He's one of those guys that's like the template, right? Like all of his routines are like the template for doing like modern close-up magic. He's one of the guys exactly. that really worked it out and was working a lot of comedy venues, did television, right? And then eventually just became a guy who was really just working, making his living, doing stuff at corporate events and, you know, hospitality suites and that sort of thing. But yeah, most of his routines are definitely, definitely uh, uh, one of those things that you want to look at if you're thinking about any of those routines, because if you don't use that method, you're probably going to be using something close to that. So uh, yeah, great, great stuff. I love Don Allen. It's like he comes from a, well, he definitely does come from a different time, but it seems that like all of his stuff is the kind of things that you can just really take out, perform in front of real people in real situations, and they're just killer. And they're very put together very simply and directly. And uh, that's what I love about it. And like, I, I agree with you hundred percent. It's like that formula is the basis for modern close-up magic, I think. Good modern close-up magic, let's put yeah, that yeah. Good, nice qualifier. <laughs> Good. Now, now, Alex, this first clip is is short, but uh, that's the thing, don't you love about Don's stuff is they're, they, they're not complex. They're relatively short and very much to the point, right? Yeah, I think that it's a lot of this stuff is very akin to like bar magic, get in, get out, right? Get to the effect and, and move on to the next one kind of a thing. and And, we did chop up what we're looking at here into segments, but realize that what we're seeing is there's bits in between. He's, you know, some of them I've cut out because they're a little bit, you know, they're a little bit on the edge, you know, some of the innuendos a little bit on mm -hmm. the edge, but you know, it, from the, we've seen other guys that are from that era and you've seen how they push the limits. Some of the stuff is kept in because it's in the routines, but there's banter in between all these tricks. So yes, the routines are short, the meat of that routine, but there's all kinds of stuff that's happening in between because he's, I think he fancies himself as much as a comedian as he is a magician. You know what I mean? Okay. All right. Let's check it out. This is a classic. We're going to start with a classic, you guys. Love it. And one that one that's very dear to your heart, Alex. All right. Absolutely. Absolutely. Let's do it. <laughs> Here we go. Hey. Thank you. Thank you. Do you have one of these here? That's why I brought it. <laughs> I want you to step inside there, my dear. Walk around and make sure there's nobody hiding inside, all right? Okay. You're not hiding? No. I sold the pencils. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> I also have a little ball, which is a handicap, but I do the best I can. You, know, you understand. <laughs> Take the little ball in your hand. Put it inside the cup, my dear. You want to do that again? You came for fun. I want you to have fun. <laughs> inside. If I shake it up and down, turn the little ball, put it into my pocket, my dear. Put the little ball back under the cup without you seeing me do it. In other words, when I take it out, it will come back, but you won't see it. Do you understand that? Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, but you don't understand. Now, <laughs> these are tricks. <laughs> They're tricks. Put the little ball in the cup, sir. See, when that goes inside, sir, and I do that, you keep one eye on the cup, one eye on my hand. Don't even miss the ball. We'll do it again. You understand. Put the ball in the cup. When I do that, did you see the ball go in my pocket? Where do you think it is now guessing? Under the cup or in my pocket? Where do you think? Under the cup. No, no, had you said my pocket, then it'd be under the cup. <laughs> oh. You see, when it goes here, if she says it's here, I'll tell her it's here. Okay. If it's here, it'll be, I have two of them. Bigger than the other, oh. but you have that ball. <laughs> Pick the ball up in your hand. Here. That feel solid? Solid. Did you see the ball get under the cup? No. You missed the same Come ball. on, no. <laughs> <laughs> On a bad day, John McEnroe can put those back. 
<laughs> I mean, classic. It's, it's classic. the one, right? It's the one. In my mind, it's the structure. It's the structure. And if you look at all of the other popular chop cups, the chop cup routines that are out there, they have a lot of this going on in them. A lot of them have Don Allen's very formula just sort of baked into the cake. Yeah, there's a couple of things there that, uh, and this is, I've seen this one before, and I think this is probably one of the best representations of this routine, right? There's a lot of other ones. There's a couple of other ones out there, but this one is like, everything's just hitting right. And the first one is that first little deal he does where I'm going to show you how it works, right? So it's like the balls are in the cup, then it's under my pocket, then it's not there, then it's there, right? And if, if you go back and watch that, it's, the, it's motivated properly, right? So that it makes sense. Instead of sometimes it doesn't always make sense. It seems like that's what's going to happen. But when he does it, it's like, it's like motivated probably so you don't see it coming. Does that make sense? Yeah. The other thing about his that I noticed that watching it again is that it's, it's like it creeps up on you. Right. You don't expect that the effect is happening before and before you know it, you're in it. Like all this stuff. Yeah, is just yeah, yeah. To you, you know what I mean? And of course, here we see the, uh, you know, the famous much talked about banging the cup on the end of the table. Right. Right. You know, and uh, I, 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 you know, a lot of people have mixed opinions about it. Um, but yeah. when you watch him do it, you do not see anything. Well, you do not see the load happen. It, it totally makes sense. What are the mixed op opinions on banging it, Steve? What have you heard? Well, I mean, there's a lot more going on there besides just banging the cup on the table, right? Because if you watch it, it's not just that. It's what's happening over here too, right? Mm -hmm. That makes you look back over that way real fast. Uh, why don't you watch it again and you'll see. We'll just watch it. Uh, I'll just watch it in, uh, without the sound on because, oh, you're saying the banging is important. He bangs it on the table. Yeah, yeah and maybe we'll talk about it in the after show. Oh, yeah. we can see seconds. right there? See when it goes here, yeah. She says it's here, I'll tell her it's here. Okay. If it's here. Okay, all right. Two. I get what you're saying, and we are going to talk about it in the after show because yeah. it's, it's delving very, very deep into method here, which we yeah, try yeah. to keep off of these public shows. Um, stick around for the after show. We're going to talk a little bit more about that, that final appearance of the tennis balls. All right. That's a lovely routine, though. And you said and know, and know that he's doing that in a seated position. He's surrounded by people doing mm -hmm. that. Right? And, and he, he, he could do it just as well standing. Just, you know, FYI. And the other thing I like about this, this particular one is he's very in the moment. Just mm -hmm. celebrating this moment with these people. It's not necessarily a routine where this has to happen and this and this and this and this. He's just pulling the trigger, waiting, talking, pulling the trigger, waiting, talking. You know what I mean? And I just love that. I love it so much. Nice. So, uh, Don's, we're gonna we're gonna show you another classic. We're doing all the hits today, guys. Don Allen does the hits like nobody else. I feel like this is like one of those shows where we look back at the '80s and we say, every year, which song won the Grammy? You know. <laughs> I'm gonna throw this out there, okay? Yeah. We need like solid gold dancers to kind of like bring in the hits. <laughs> yeah. you know? That would be so awesome. We'll call them like the CC Club dancers. That sounds a little raunchy though. Maybe we'll have to come up with something else. Yeah. I guess you know it's not, we'll that's not like something from another era that we could probably never bring back realistically. Probably, but it sure would be fun. Okay, sorry. It'd be fun to try. <laughs> I'm letting my creepy, creepy old manness come out. Here we go. This is a glass. I explain right. this as I go along. <laughs> this matches my eyes. I don't know whether you've noticed that. You ever shave in the morning, cut yourself, you bleed so much, your eyes clear up? <laughs> <laughs> you ever walk in the bathroom in the morning and look in the mirror and say, I don't know who you are, but I'm going to comb your hair? <laughs> well, that way, no. Where you from, Bob? What's your talk? What's your talk? You're lost, you know that? <laughs> you play cards here? Mm -hmm. When you play, do you shuffle? Shuffle? Uh-huh. You shuffle? Mm -hmm. Are you a shuffler here? Yes. We got two shufflers here. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. This is a pretty lady. What is your name, dude? Connie. Take a card, Connie. Uh, Connie. I'd like you to look at it. Did you take one, sir? Did you take one, sir? Now, remember whatever you have. Don't let me see them all. I'll forget, and then it's embarrassing. It really is, you know? We'll do the lady first, all right? Place your card on top, face down, my dear. Yours on top of there, Bob. Yours on top of this. All three are together. We're going to put them into the middle. We're going to start with your card first, all right? 
What was your card, Steve? Two of diamonds. That's saving a lot of time. <laughs> <laughs> These are easy when you know how. <laughs> going to cover with a little rag, my dear. Would you hold out your hand? I'm going to put the glass in the palm of your hand. Okay. No, no, close your finger. It keeps the glass from falling on the table. <laughs> we put those inside. What would you card, sir? Two of diamonds. If I place that inside, I'd like you to watch the little handkerchief. Now, as you watch that little handkerchief, so don't take your eye off that little handkerchief. Have you done this before, dear? I'm very good. <laughs> <laughs> See, as I do that, so that's how we get that little Whoa. two of them. Yeah. So, no, 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 you don't have to do that. What, what was your time, honey? We won't even cover it. Hold the glass, my dear. When you put these inside, you actually watch that as you do that. Have you done tricks before? A uh, few. <laughs> <laughs> Why aren't you doing one now? <laughs> Put them inside. I forgot what you said. Five of them? Five of hearts. Five of hearts. Come on, five of hearts. You're not going to do that? I don't like it. Why, why don't you like it? You sure it was a five of hearts? No, I don't understand the five of hearts. Oh, you have to, you get a little oh. enthusiasm. <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry. No, no, see the nice part. The nice part is you can have it many taken out, you put them inside and they will pop out. Now, we had two of diamonds. Five of hearts, your card, my dear, two of hearts. No. What was your card? King of spades. Deuces are wild. <laughs> <laughs> she won't know the difference. <laughs> what was your card, dear? King of spades. Oh, I see. With your thumb and finger, my dear, hold the little flap, two fingers. Okay. Just one hand. Just this hand. Hold on. Just hold on with this. With this with the other hand. Is this too tough for you? Tough. <laughs> see, as you do that, you oh. do that. Oh, you don't have to do I'm that. I'm getting good at this. Yeah. Let's get it. Here. That's great. Is that right? Oh, yeah. It's the best structure ever for that, right? <laughs> wow. <laughs> Wowzers. Sweet little handling. Sweet little what handling on a classic thing that he made it into. It's a showpiece doing it like that, right? That's beautiful. I love and it. It doesn't have too much stuff on it. Nope. You know Mystic, what I mean? Mystic said the video froze for him. Did, did was the video freezing for anyone else? Or no? Okay. It looks fine on my end. Wow. You know, go. What were you about to say, Steve? You, no, what? I was just gonna say it's just there's not a lot of like decoration and jokes whatever it's like it's pretty straightforward we're gonna do this thing but it's it's still very again it's it's very present you know he's like right now it's happening and he, he seemed to be struggling for a minute there i think and he just played it off that was kind of my favorite part about that whole yeah, thing because i watched played it don, off was, yeah i was watching it was actually watching don allen struggle there with that second that second phase that was really cool like he was so laid back and he just kept going yeah, I'm about, whoa, and then you know, chatting because yeah. he's in the moment right he's not worried about like what comes next or anything he's just like yeah whatever blah 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 yada 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 saying whatever nonsense we was saying i remember what but and and going back to what you said at the beginning too right he's making sure that those effects are clear because you could really easily lose track and have people sort of like burst into laughter after you make one of those cards rise or two of those cards rise and then you lose the ending right so you have to keep them sort of focused and on the path of we're gonna we're gonna reveal these cards and not let them get too far from that path otherwise it just falls apart i think so really good really good yeah really good we should talk about the method too when we get in the after show because sure. we can do it on all of them if you like totally. i think it's an i think that's uh i think the method that he went with for that's really uh, just an interesting way that he went about it. We'll talk more about it later. He's got that so was, many good ones. So yeah, many he does. Ones. And we have a, quite a few today. I mean, they're all good. Now, I personally think this, this is one that has sort of fallen into uh, lost territory because smoking uh, has become such a, a faux pas. People do, don't really smoke uh, in public much anymore. Uh, and you can't really smoke in restaurants or any places like that. So it people used to do this trick all the time when i was uh, younger i saw this this was like the staple of people's act i mean this this trick was everywhere yeah and it's for good reason i think now they've found a way around it but let's watch it first i, th I think it's one of the best don't you don't you guys think this is one of the best it's killer and i think his handling and his presentation is one of the well it, it keeps you focused you can't look away because it's almost like a like a needle swallowing or the razor blade swallowing, right? It's just like, whoa, what's what's gonna happen next? I can't look away. <laughs> it's good. 
I'm going to show you a little trick. I don't know where you folks can see that. I'll put it right here in the middle. That's an old buffalo nickel. This works with a nickel, dime, or penny. Quarters too heavy because of the weight. If you push that, put that between your forehead, slide it to the center, press on it, give it a little turn, it will stay there forever. It's nice for five eight meters. <laughs> Hold that your hand. Now, when you push in, I want you to take it and push straight in. Push hard. <laughs> Don't hard. No, it will stick. <laughs> Would you like a hammer? I, mean, I thought I'd give it a whole new outlook. <laughs> who has any money? Change, change. Uh, uh, quarter. And who has a cigarette? Cigarette. Or ribbons. How much is that? What is that, Canadian? Okay. American. Oh, cigarettes. Thank you very much. Okay. Right. Your quarter, sir? Yours? Yes. No. Those are terrific, sir. You're under arrest, but those are terrific. <laughs> you read Spanish? Look at the way they <laughs> Hold that, you hear. I'm going to put the quarter in. The <laughs> and so that. That was really funny. Kind you're, of. Under, you're under arrest, sir. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Okay. You can watch your quarter, Kevin. So I'm going to put this on the top so that no one will take your quarter. In fact, you won't have to take your quarter. <laughs> This only hurts for a little while. <laughs> You've probably been told that many times. <laughs> Are you aware that I just noticed your quarter is not silver, it's mostly copper. You knew that, sir? It looks like it. Did you know that copper will conduct heat? Yeah. When it becomes hot, then we can then take the cigarette, push it through the quarter, you will see it come on the other side. <laughs> you don't like to see that. Yeah, Bunch of masochists being nice that's and the saddest. That is hot. See if it were hot and I took the cigarette. If I did that, it would actually look like it is stuck in there. <laughs> I said stuck in there. Sam, why did I stick it on there? Because if, if it were, see, if we had penetration, then you could actually smoke through the center. <laughs> wow. They're tricks, honey. They're tricks. <laughs> well, we should mention this goes up and down and it turns. A lot of people have one that goes up and down, but it doesn't turn. <laughs> <laughs> Hold the lighter in your hand, my dear. Can you see the quarter? Yes. Watch the quarter. I'm going to heal that. Oral Roberts. <laughs> That's a man's name. Watch the quarter as I do that. As you watch that little quarter, you would actually believe that that little quarter would actually appear to actually heal before your very eyes. Mm. Now, look at the quarter. Look at the head of the tail. Now, once you've looked at the head or the tail, <laughs> she, she lost your quarter. I wish the camera angle would have had a little, just a slightly better angle on, right. on when it when it was in its full through the quarter state, because it, right. it's a great illusion, isn't it? I mean, this was a freaking staple when I was a teenager. I mean, yeah. this was like I burned through five or six of these. <laughs> I still have a couple of them laying around. <laughs> yeah, I got a couple in pieces. But, uh, you know, and what a great handling. You know, just the way he handles that moment, right? It's just in conversation. A lot of things are going on. Doesn't matter. And he has her pinned in place by putting that cigarette on top of the quarter. And it's just balanced on her two fingers. Yep. It's like her, she's not moving. She's not going anywhere. And at least her and her date are not going anywhere, right? <laughs> One of the things I noticed I thought was really interesting in that first effect with the nickel, right? Mm, yeah. he, he comes out and now it's the nickel nail, okay? Yeah. Notice he never let go of her hand because he's right. telling her, Let's put it on your forehead, right? Right. And, and if you're not paying attention, that person can be like, bing, next thing you know, you know, you're going to have a problem. <laughs> but he never let go of her hand the whole time she had no. it. <laughs> I could see that you happen. Do, you just do what the magician says. Okay. Ah! <laughs> Next thing you know, you're like lobotomized. Right. Your eyeball, like, ah! oh man. That was a uh, big, nasty one, too. That was a big old inch and a half nail on there. Whew. That's going to ruin your pants. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. It's things I think about. <laughs> Newell saying that uh, this method is the one that Eugene gave to Don Allen, Eugene Berger. Amar also has a great handling. You're right. And Goshman. Yeah, he does. Goshman closed his uh, act. We've looked oh, right. At the Williamson, the Williamson handling that's in the Amar book. Right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is, that's classic. This was such a staple of a trick. I mean, it was just something that, you know, 
everybody had a version of. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So and everyone tried to keep it alive after cigarettes sort of went away. So it was, you know, you weren't ready to let that thing go because it's such a good piece of magic, right? <laughs> People have moved it to crayons. It's not really, it's it doesn't have the same zing to it. No, it doesn't. That's why we should just all take up smoking again. Good for magic. So uh, hey, look on the oh never mind. Never mind. <laughs> so all right. And so let me ask you guys a question, okay? When you go to your typical magician, right, mm -hmm. and you say the name Don Allen, which trick actually is the one that comes to mind? Which one do you think goes down in history is the one that he had most influence over? If, um, it, if it were pop culture, it's definitely you say, Alex? the Invisible the Deck. I was going to say the Invisible Deck. Yeah, the Invisible close Deck, one. yeah, yeah. Yeah. I deck is how I found out about him. Right. Really? Because yeah, yeah because I purchased the deck and it said right on Don Allen's invisible deck. And I was like, who's Don? Right. Allen? Right. He was attributed to being the invisible deck guy. For, I, his, yeah. I see what you're pointing to now. I, in my world. Was a he was not. <laughs> yeah. It was a Fox Lake, right? Yeah, right. it was, it was Fox I remember Lake. bumping into those later in magic, but in yeah. my world, they were, you know, it was the Don Allen name had been dropped from that thing long long before i got into it i'm you know i'm i'm, I'm a little little younger <laughs> yeah it was well, like good that was just saying so what's all the fuss about right so why mm -hmm. why why is don allen's name attached to it we're going to just watch very this is very to the point quick this is the classic invisible deck don allen's presentation if you've never seen it you need to watch close this is sort of where it all i think where it started for me certainly is that with this trick uh with seeing Learning about Don Allen. Okay, here it goes. The Invisible Deck. I'm going to give you one of these. Thank you ever you. seen one like that, sir? No. It's embarrassing to have one. Like <laughs> <laughs> you hold the case, sir? You put it on the table, sir. Make you nice and comfortable. When you shovel. They, they should be shoveled face down, you know, to be fair. Take the card, sir. Give them a little shovel. You can go blind doing that. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Look at over around us here. He's wearing glasses. You notice I do not wear glasses? <laughs> My parents lied to me. <laughs> do you know this lady? We just met. Oh, you oh, that's a start, isn't it? Yes. <laughs> Spread the cards face down toward this lady and say to the lady, say, take a card. Take a card. Well, no, you have to just keep one and put one back. Okay? <laughs> well, they stick sometimes. Sorry. Do you yeah. like that card? Yes, I can. Is it Ace of Spades? No. Hide the card. Hide it. No, no, you don't get to look for the card. Chibble. Chibble. <laughs> keep, keep your day job. <laughs> yeah. Turn them face up, sir. Yeah. Spread the cards face up toward the date. My dear, would you remove the card from the vault? But keep it face down so he doesn't see it. Here's a face up. Push yours in face down. See, that way he won't know what it is. That's terrific. You're terrific, sir. Will you close them up, sir? Now, I had the cards. Very good. Have you ever considered roofing and siding? <laughs> no. Yeah. You have the case, sir? Very good, sir. Before they come and take you and me away, he's going with us. You know, he's on the case. Yeah. When you look at your card, my dear, the one that you hit, what card did you see that you put in upside down? Queen of Diamonds. You see it, sir? I knew you were looking. <laughs> <laughs> I bet from where you were standing, I bet you thought it was a two or something. Yeah, I, did. I bet you did, yeah. See, we didn't see your card. However, when you put the card back, he returned the cards, we put them in the case, I put them into my pocket. If I were to run through those cards, my dear, first of all, every card in the pack would be face up. One card would be face down, the rest would all be face up except one little it card. You said your card was what? Queen of Diamonds. Isn't that ridiculous? Listen, I'm going to tell you, warm cards are hard to find. I mean, good card warmer is hard to find. I'd like you to take this home as a souvenir, my friend. Put it in your pocket. Thank you. I mean, they cost you a quarter, you know. <laughs> Oh, he mentions that it cost him a quarter because he never gave him the quarter back from the uh, the cigarette through the quarter. That's so, right. Hey, he's got to have a back. retirement plan. And <laughs> having said that, the next trick sort of picks up where that thread is left. So 
you know, know, knowing that you'll see when we get to the next one. I mean, it's just a nice, straightforward, invisible deck, you know? Right. It's it's interactive. He's the guy that invented that structure, yeah. right? So it's yeah. it's the one that you see everyone else do. Yeah, so exactly. Well, while he might not have invented the actual uh Gaffis, he, he certainly I love that, that word. Yeah, right. He, he certainly invented that. That's the plot. I mean, that's why I think that's why it has its name invisible deck. And that's why that effect is associated to that Gaffis, I think. It's. It, I think it's. It's Ralph Hall that invented the idea of what the the method is, and he referred to it as the ultra mental deck. That's and right. then Don Allen was the one that gave it that that whole presentation and the premise of it being an invisible deck. And now that's the standard, right? And like I said, when I got into Magic, that was that was the presentation that came with it if you bought that thing. But Don Allen's name might have been in the instructions as, oh, and Don Allen had something, you know, but it was, I mean, that's Don Allen's structure. He invented the routine, man. <laughs> I remember now. It's, yeah. Ralph Hall had the original the original thing on it, but I don't, I don't think it's as good of a trick. This, you know, this plays. I, I always have one with me, you know, never, I haven't, I haven't, it's like my out for that one trick in my set that has like a weird angle to it that I usually can cover. Right. Yeah. And if I can't do it, then I then I go to invisible deck. It's always with me. It's easy to do and it's killer. Yeah. There was a couple of little things too. Do you notice how he said at the beginning of that he's like, uh, you and you looked at one card? Is it did you did you see the ace of spades? She said no. And he just moved right past it, right? Mm -hmm. Just a note there. I don't did you guys see that? Yeah. It's pretty yeah. funny. I wonder how many times who knows who knows how he would have played it, right? Like you didn't said see, and that's the effect. Or no, don't think of that one. Everyone says that one. I don't even have any. Put that back. Or I think he certainly would have would have owned it. I think he would have been like, ta-da! You know, <laughs> that's what I would have done at least. That's when you drop your drawers and show your Ace of Spades boxer shorts. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. All right. So, uh, so this next one is also pretty. I mean, it's hard because when you get to these like classic, like Don Allen doing the hits, they're, they're really so closely tied with his name to some respect, this one too. I mean, his name's not on the packaging, but I certainly, one of the first people I ever saw do it was this trick. And this is a classic. I mean, just a straight up classic. I think you're going to like it. It's a shorty too. Well, your quarter. Yeah, clean the table up, Don. Your quarter? <laughs> I almost forgot the quarter. I almost forgot the quarter. This is my big money. I lost my shoulder stuff, and I never find my purse. <laughs> Inside, I have two cards. Are you, do you know how much that is? No, I don't. That's 20 centavos. That's from Mexico. That was worth, at one time, about 8 cents. It's now worth about a tenth of a cent. This is 50 cents. It's also worth about a tenth of a cent. <laughs> this is larger than the half dollar. I put it neither you can't see it at all. Are you right or left-handed? Right-handed. Right-handed? Hold out your hand. I'm going to put both coins in your hand. Close your hand. Put both hands behind your back. Magnificent. <laughs> Put one coin in each hand. It doesn't make any difference which is which. I want you comfortable, all right? Can you feel the difference in size? Yes. You're my kind of girl. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see if she remembers. The tension span is short. The copper coin did not come from this country. It came from where? Mexico. That's perfect. Large coin was how much? 50 cents. Perfect. That's amazing. Feel the difference in size? Hold yes. out the large coin. That's terrific. Hold out the Mexican Zendamo. That's his quarter. Oh. 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 Good. 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 Where's my Zendamo? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to search you. I'm going to search you. I'm going to search you. Great. Um, you know, it's funny because... I've talked about it many times. I worked in a magic shop, right? And this was the presentation I was taught, mm -hmm. right? Which was the centavo vanishes and it turns into the quarter. But when you do that, it, it's, it doesn't make any sense. Totally. This right? makes sense. <laughs> this makes sense. This is where it comes from. And this, this is, is the from. why. This yep. is the why. Totally. Yep. I didn't know for years. Why would you, why would you produce a quarter? What, because this, you missed, yeah. you're missing the first routine that needs to be there to make this whole thing go full circle, it right? It was always left out. It was just in the wind. You never knew. And, and so you're like, yeah, it's kind of cool. The copper coin changes to a quarter, but you know. You know what I did? I changed that quarter to a, an actual uh, Chinese coin 
because it was about the size of a quarter and had a hole in the middle of it and it was just two foreign coins but it was like you know i was a young magician had no reason for the routine it was just doing the routine and now it's not a mexican coin it's chinese coin right oh <laughs> exactly but like instead of a quesadilla before, it's an egg roll but Sorry. to your point before <laughs> and there's a quarter for what <laughs> there's no reason for that quarter to be there but this is it man i love it yeah I'm when you watch that it's just like it was like a lightning bolt. It was like, zing. It totally made sense why that has always been the one that, you know, you're taught. That's right. All right. Let's close it out with the Benson Bowl. Since somebody mentioned this in chat earlier. I'm glad because we're going to watch it again. Another very short to the point routine that's very powerful and a classic. Another one of Don Allen's greatest hits. Here it is. Check it out. You've not done tricks before, sir? Mm -hmm. You've done these tricks? No, no. Look at this. Sir. Don't feel it. Just look at it. <laughs> <laughs> I have more parts. I have uh, this whole act was built by Toys R Us. I have every. I have two of these. These are mine. Okay. <laughs> and this is, a, this is a magic wand. Did you know that? No. No, this is a miniature 20 foot pole. <laughs> See, that goes here. This goes upside down. If I take the little ball and tap it with the stick, the ball jumps. Then you tap it, it will appear. Now, you have another quarter? <laughs> I'm going to spit that one. Put one of those in second right there. When it's turned over, watch the little ball when I tap it. So when I tap that, that ball jumps. And you tap it, then it will appear. Now, well, you didn't get to tap it. Put one in second. Very good, sir. I'm going to turn it over. Uh, hold the stick, sir. This I will put away, which would leave how many inside? One. Oh, back to the two. Oh, yes. <laughs> hold that your hand, sir. In fact, I'll hold one, hold that, squeeze it. Got it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very fine in here. Come here often. Hold this with your left hand. Now, with the other hand, Makes him one short. <laughs> we'll work with what we got, you know. Take the stick, tap my hand and your hand. To tap is not to hit. <laughs> How much harder it's mine than his? Mm. Now, how do you see mine? Look at yours. Oh, oh. You, oh that's terrific. So let's, you've done, not done this. Like, hold the stick. You didn't get the tap. I'll hold one. We'll take that one. Take the stick, tap my hand, and the P-O-T. I spelled that out for the children. <laughs> Did you see it jump? No. Tap it again. Yeah. Oh, yes, yeah, sorry. Yeah. See it go. Again? Did you see it? Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice lady, but oh, no. she lost her bearing. No, 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 the ball did go. Ooh. They don't believe you. Lift and show. Oh, that's your bearing. Oh. oh. Pick out the ball. Sir. Pick out the ball. Now, when you pick up the never mind. Sir. You <laughs> <laughs> great 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 the funny the story about that he used to he used to produce a big lump of coal under the bowl right yeah he stopped he stopped doing it because he realized that at a certain point people didn't know what a lump of coal was because some guys <laughs> came into a hospitality suite and they said hey we were here earlier can you show my friend the trick with the big black rock <laughs> it's like, oh wow, they don't know what a, a lump of coal is. <laughs> Big like rock. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty done. bad. That's how you know your your a your act has aged out. <laughs> Not the truth. But I like the bearings. Great. Yeah, the bearing is great. It's really? impossible, right? It's just impossible. Yeah. And, and the Benson Bowl is just a classic, classic of magic, right? Roy Benson has a lot of classic stand-up pieces, and this is one of them that. You know, if you're a fan of that routine, go and look up the name Roy Benson. You're going to find all kinds of great magic. This is this is one of his greatest hits for sure. And uh, and Don adapted it to his needs and his uses. And, you know, it's sort of Don Allen's Benson Bowl routine. <laughs> hey this guys. Is, I'm sorry. No, Steve, go ahead. I was just going to say that, like today, especially this felt like just like a really great history lesson. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like just a really good lesson in. A lot of those things that you see and take for granted, like we'll trace back to this and what we're going to see coming up. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. One of the, one of the great close-up magicians of all time. There's no doubt. There's more, right? Alex, we, we've There's got more. more. Yeah. We'll get, we'll get into more uh, on, on uh, our next session for sure. Yeah. 
Great, great. Thank you guys for joining us today. If you're here live, stick around for the after show. We're going to talk about some secrets and methods. And if you're watching this on socials, uh, do us a favor and just hit follow or subscribe to this channel, to this video. You'll be notified next time we go live. Thanks for joining us here. Afternoon astonishment on Conjure Community.